I'm your host, Sean McKenzie. Thank you for joining once again on my channel on data engineering. In this episode, we go back to our Microsoft Access playlist, and I want to talk about the Lazinski naming convention, which is a short way of saying, or a long way of saying, uh, how we name our variables and our objects in our Microsoft Access program. And there's actually quite an interesting story around LNC, uh, which started many, many years ago when they were when they were first making access and things like that. And uh, we're going to explore that a little bit. And I think this is a great one uh, for you guys. Are you a programmer looking for your next gig? Make sure to check out the additional links in the description. Now, you might be wondering, when I look at some Microsoft Access applications, I see these funny names like TBL product or maybe QRY employee detail or RPT sales forecast or our subline items or maybe FRM orders. So you might be asking yourself, why do I see this? Well, some of you probably know that these names follow what is called a naming convention, but you may still ask, where did this come from and why do people use it? Well, the answer is that this naming convention was one that was derived from what is called Hungarian notation that was used ages ago and was spread through the Windows API. Other flavors of it were called Apps Hungarian or Systems Hungarian, and these types were used in the early days by a fellow who originated from Hungary named Charles Simonyi, who worked at Xerox Park from 72 to 81 and became a chief architect at Microsoft later on. Generally, the basic features of the naming convention were that it used a type identifier prefix followed by camel case uh, naming for the purpose of the object or variable. Enter Stan Lazinski, who in the early 90s saw a need for a solid naming convention for Microsoft Access in its fledgling years and came up with the Lazinski naming convention so that this new environment could have a solid naming convention that developers could use in their applications. He completed the convention and it eventually provided a good naming convention for all of the objects in Access, like tables, queries, forms, reports, and other items, including context-dependent names like F sub for subforms, which are forms placed on a parent form. To formalize this convention and to introduce Access developers to LNC and best practices, Lazinski wrote a very excellent book in the 90s called Access 97 Expert Solutions, which is a book that is, in my opinion, one of the must reads in this area. Incredibly, it is still for sale on sites like Amazon, a feat that in the fast changing world of technology is almost unheard of. The LNC and similar conventions spread through the Visual Basic world too, eventually into VB.NET and other areas of Windows programming, and it is still widely considered the best naming convention for serious Microsoft Access development. Even if not strictly followed, using LNC basics can greatly improve the readability and clarity of the database design and Visual Basic code. So, if you are starting to design Microsoft Access databases, you may want to consider using a naming convention that is sort of like the lingua franca of the Access world. Developers on Teams will easily be able to understand each other's code, and new developers can easily be integrated uh, when there is a solid naming convention. Keep in mind, though, that not all developers like Hungarian notation, and there is quite a discussion and battle between those who use it and those who do not in the programming world. The rule of thumb is use and learn the notation that exists on a project and don't ever introduce a new naming scheme where one exists already. However, if you are starting a new access project and are looking for a solid naming scheme, go for it and use the LNC. Now, if you'd like to see some examples and find out more about LNC, it's very easy. Just Google Lazinski Naming Convention or Microsoft Access LNC, 
and you'll eventually find lots of examples. Uh, one of the best is on Wikipedia, where they have a, a wide range of object uh, prefixes and things like that that you can try to use, and uh, that will help to make your code much more understandable and easy to read. Now, are you using LNC already? Or are you using some other naming scheme in your project? Let me know in the comment section below. Interested in more topics like this? Make sure to check out my Patreon. The link is in the description.